plays music. He does a lot of music ministry. And uh, he'll take his guitar and he'll just go to his downtown South Park. And, um, he lives in my, he lives with me. Uh, we've been friends since we were like little kids. And he just takes his guitar and he sings. He does Yeah. He sings and he's, he's very spiritual. So he has a lot of good music. Right. So you knew to call him. Yeah. yeah. He's a great. great connection. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually tap into this free homeless training for the for the people that you connect with. It's actually um, through the Jose Silva Ultra Mind Training, which we all need, and we are homeless because we don't know our purpose and where we are and what we're supposed to be doing. Right. See, that's what I told you. And I don't know where I belong. I don't know who I am. Right. So that's what we give you. That's what you ask for. That's, that's the main reason trip. why you got us. That's our that's first like, service. You know, the funniest thing is, is like I'm 43 years old, right. and I always thought I knew who I, I was. And all of a sudden, I like we don't realize who I don't know who I am, and right. I don't know where I belong. Right. 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 Yeah, I wish that would have been out earlier. Yes, well, it's all just be thankful and grateful because you met us when you were ready. The yes. That's the thing. You wasn't ready earlier. I meant earlier in the evening because I've been up since. You wasn't like ready earlier in the I'm evening like, either. I know. You were ready us right too. when we you were, met us. Us too. Yeah. And you, you got to help me with my, my glasses are in the vehicle. So help around, honey. What year is it? All right, cool. 69, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we just look up 69. January 25th. Yeah, 569. Need good eyes. It's yes. in there. It's in there. 69 is. Alright, and so then it's January. Yeah. So that's the third count. 25th. And then it's the 25th. What day is it? Saturday. Oh, I was born on Saturday. Well, yeah. uh, guess what? We got. Oh. It's about to be your birthday. We gonna have a ball. We got a yes. birthday party. Coming. It's our birthday party. Yeah. In the morning at twelve at twelve a.m. It will be Saturday. Oh my God. It's your yeah. birthday. So then we get to go over the principal of oh faith. You know, with oh the money. You know, it's our. It's our. It's the seventh principal. How many times have you opened that? Oh my goodness! I love it. It's the best. I just do, this is Thursday is my purpose. Thursday, I was born on a Thursday. Thursday means purpose. And so I come here collectively with all the other children on Thursday to help everybody remember what their purpose is. So this is what I do. This is what I come here for. So no matter whether you receive it or not, it's always, it's just, that's why I've always been placed in the exact perfect position to succeed. I've got all these connections in the fire department, the Marine Corps, the Marine Corps. Because I gotta get all these people. I gotta remember what my day of the week is. Yeah, that's good. You know what? And you have that little chart. I would be like Googling like January 25th, 1969 right. to see what day of the week it was. I would have Googled it. Right. <laughs> this is better. Technology yeah, your chart's better. Imani, faith is the seventh principle. It means to believe with all of our hearts in our people, our parents, our teachers, and our leaders. Imani means to believe in the righteousness and victory of our struggle for the liberation and redemption of our people. It means to believe in ourselves as individuals who are an important part of an international community. Most of all, Imani is a commitment to do our best in doing our part to develop our family, our community, our nation, because our freedom rests on our ability and right to control our own destiny. Without Imani faith, there is no possibility of victory. So that's why we have to have our faith children on Saturday. Because right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're like the most ancient one. You know, the most wise one, the happy one. You've been here like eons ago. So that's how you can have faith in all that stuff because you know you were here. Your soul remembers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so you give us, you come to give us that strength. Ancient wisdom. You know, to you know, know that. To know so that's what you're going to do with everything that you do. To believe in ourselves. Okay. To give us faith. Yeah, that's right. Give us faith in everything. <laughs> <laughs>
it's real awesome. easy. It is so easy. then you can just do that and be happy about it. Like I said, me, I'm on purpose. So I just do that. I can be happy about it. I can have you say yes, you agree, none of that. No, I just know I'm doing what I can you do. Right. And so it's, it either frees you up. So how many years have you guys been for? Oh, wait. Since, yeah, four years. Wow. He he had built the network two years prior to that. It's just you know, so he's been doing it for six years on his own, and then we've been oh, wow. doing it together. So you started building it by yourself. Yes, because yes. he wanted to work with his children and his family, and we had, we were able to do that when his grandmother got right. sick. That's what he really built the network for, so that you wouldn't have to choose between your family or your business and or work. Right. Right, so by us doing that, we were able to be able to go and take care of her and heal her and bring her back. And it was just a great experience, really. Because work doesn't get in your way. Exactly. You can take your children and your work right with you. If you're doing what you love to do, it don't register as work. You would actually do it for free, but you do it so what everybody loves to pay you for. You set your own time, you set your own hours, you build your team so that you take yourself out of the day-to-day -day operations of the business. So it runs better in your absence. Yeah, I'll... Isn't that great? <laughs> yes, exactly. And you get back and everything's done even better than when you were there doing it, and that be the best. Yes. Yeah, so we're able to travel around and actually duplicate ourselves through our network, really build a network everywhere we go so that we can um, help each other because that's all we got to do. We got to help our children. Like I said, I was 42 when I got them. Like, I don't want to wait till, you know, everybody should have to wait till they're in the 40s to figure out what it is we're supposed to do, and then you had it already, right, you, you know, we just didn't ever think about it, right. you know, so it's like, it's stuff that we already been doing when you read the principles of Saturday, as we get more into it and we get more knowledge, you, you realize that you already been doing all this stuff, it's not, not like I'm telling you anything, it's just confirming, it's just confirmation, that's why I'm on the phone, you know, to remember the process, lost, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. if any, like, Just be with y'all okay. and not see what's going on over there and over there. Yeah. I know, I know. And, and when I went to my 20 year class reunion, they were like trying to think of something that they remembered about everybody that was at our reunion. And about me, they said that I was the only person that liked everybody. Yes, that's yeah. great. Right. Because the like only her. person that liked everybody. <laughs> that's great. Awesome. It's their job. A person of wise and gentle equanimity whose gift is for bring peace to troubled waters. <laughs> you have reached a clear purpose beyond yourself and this sustains your well-being. You are the most ancient one, the most happy one, full of wisdom. You are the defender of the past. You can be a conduit for spiritual expression. You tend to rediscover faith during a major passage and you become involved in a major cause. You feel part of a larger intention toward love and justice. You face crisis through prayer. You were, like most of the people, of high well-being raised in a religious environment. You are reanimated through religion, though not overly concerned with formal church. So you've been doing it already. Right? Yeah. There's not nothing I've told you. So we have to just remember this as confirmation is to help you remember so that you can confirm that yes, yeah, this is it. this is what I'm supposed this to be. Is who I am. And this, this is how is I can move I'm forward with do. my gut. And that's why we met today. And yep, it is true. And just to keep so you don't have to because it, it we've been a lot of stuff is gonna come back in and bring those still those negative You got the polar habits back. You got hundred and eighty negative degrees, hundred and eighty positive degrees. But that's how we can stay right. That's how we can keep just going forward in the positive and know that yeah, you are doing it right. And it is gonna all work out. And we do have everything we need. And so I don't I, mean, I got everything. We have to keep doing everything. Yeah, I got everything. <laughs> I, you know, I got everything because there's a lot of distress that I have you just going outside of just that fact that yeah, I got everything. We got it all. We got all the knowledge, all the wisdom, all the intelligence, all the love, all the beauty, all the justice. When 
Yes, we have fun at work all the time. Because yes. <laughs> we know what we do. We just do this. This is what we do everywhere. Yes, everywhere we go. We empower this people. This is work. Yes. Can you believe that? To achieve their goals. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yes. But we love it. And so when you love it that way, you're going to do it to the highest. We make your business success a part of our business. So we just get new members. We love to make new connections. We find out how the creator is doing something spectacular and bringing this, you know, great. We great have life. always met the best. So I know you're the best. Like, I know you're going to give me some great goods, even though you think, like, maybe I'm going to give you something. I'm going to be like, I know you got it all. You know what I mean? And so we can have that value in each other. So, Mutual yeah. exchange. And so. so when people pay you, mm-hmm. how do they pay you? I know. Well, Just like you said, I'm right. Cool. Okay, so if we're making how much Great a day? Question. Because you said a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? Uh-huh. So how much is that a day? We got to figure it out. So Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. See, because you're everywhere. So that's, uh, that's four days so a week. All we got, all we need. I think half of that of twenty five hundred is what twelve fifty, right? So that's six twenty five a day. Well, these are the, that's the part that we love it. We, I love it, but again, we have to know this and, and have the a Wednesday child. A Wednesday child is cooperative economics, My so it's business. Business. Yeah. <laughs> it's business. Yeah, it's business. It's business. It's, it's the only reason why he know the numbers is because it's business. It's not just like I got number writers or something like that. Right. Well, yeah, we gotta get these um, numbers. We gotta get the you know, goals done. Yeah. yeah. We gotta have so, do right. people, and so then, so do you make it? You money? So how much you said she was making yeah. a day? Six twenty-five. We can pay. pay yeah, you can pay online. Yeah, online. But six twenty five a day. So if you make six twenty five a day okay. and you pay how much temp- how much percentage? Ten percent. Ten percent. Mm-hmm. And so sixty two fifty. Sixty two fifty is what you would pay us today when we help you make six hundred and twenty five dollars. Okay, so then we got that. So the reason why you paying us sixty two dollars and fifty cent today is because we helped you make six hundred and twenty five dollars. That's what we gotta know. And we are speaking it into existence right now. See? Right. So what am I gonna do to make my money every day? Heal. Uh-huh. You're gonna heal. You gotta do what you love to do. And I just said heal because that's what you said you love to do. So you gotta just know that you're gonna do it so well that everybody's gonna love to pay you for it. And you have to come up with a creative way and we're gonna help you to market it and to get funded for it so that it's not no question about where the money is coming. See what I mean? So you get funded. Funds, yes. marketing, and selling. That's it. what you're gonna do. And you just have products. You just have Service. products that people want. Like you said, and you and you and you greet and you today. Uh, I greet this day with love in my heart. Every day. I said today. To somebody, <laughs> I said, what do you want to do? What? So well, actually, it was last night. So I remember Michael, and he said, "Why don't you call an insurance company and do some phone calls and things over the phone?" I was like, "That sounds so boring. Like that's just not me." That don't sound exciting. <laughs> you're not going to pay me. Right. You're going to pay me, but that's yeah, not it's nice. He said, what are you going to do? I said, no, no, no. I might open up my own business. He said, what are you going to do? I said, I think I want to like work with healing people. You can't make money in healing people. Right. Yes, you can. Right. That's, that's what he said. That's why you met us, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, you can't. You already know that industry you make money in. And I said, well, and then I told my friend in San Francisco, the one from my home can't left for her. I just want to open up. So I just want to do something where I heal people, where I work with people, where I help people, where I make a difference in healthcare. And it's going to make money. You can't make money that way. Right. Make so money. You know people say that. But here's one great way. The health budget is in the billions. You know what I mean. So, oh, I you, know. Already, so, so you already know, know that it's, you already, you already know, know. The money is there. There's that's, no that's it. Once you know it's a budget in billions, I'll be like, the money is there. The money is there. So, so you just have to come up with a creative yeah. way to get the money into your pocket. And so, <laughs> you know what? Well, they're okay. healthcare. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're 2014. Mm-hmm. If you don't have insurance, if you don't have health insurance, and I don't have health insurance, mm-hmm. we don't have to pay a penalty to the government. Did you like this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Insurance for their employees, they will be penalized. Mm-hmm. So it's 
actually going to be cheaper for them to pay the penalty than it is to attain insurance for their employees. So basically what's going to happen in 2014 our Medicaid patients are going to increase tremendously. Medicaid is already in a deficit. Right. You know. And everybody's got to get insurance. Right. So it's going to increase our number of Medicaid patients. Guess what I held Yeah, this knows yeah, all the dogs are punishing. Sure. Yeah. That's what our health plan is. Yeah. The best health plan. Right. Be healthy. Be healthy. <laughs> that yeah. is the health plan. plan. Be the healthy. Biggest and so health that plan. is your insurance. That is right. the insurance. When you live in a state of well being, healthy, right. that's so it. So, what's going to happen in 2014 when they change all these laws and regulations and all this kind of stuff? What's going to happen mm-hmm. is everybody's going to mm-hmm. turn to holistic and alternative therapies right. because people right. can't afford to go to the doctor. Right. So that's how you're going to know that we're going to already be able to track it all the time. That's how you need to count them already. You need a team. And you got to just, just know it's all going to work out. That's why. That's how you met. See, once you meet us and you know what all you've been doing, just know that it's all going to work out. Right. I am so right. Well, you're getting better and better. You're getting better and better. And she's attached to better. Really? Really? That's what I do. Wow. I love it. Really? <laughs> that's the it don't even register as work. That's the amazing <laughs> part. Is us really getting into it. See, because when we're traveling now, mm-hmm. we're staying in creation, all right? Because oh, creation it is as simple as that. It's simple as touch. Connected. It's simple as agree. You right. know, because you can supersede the time frame. You know, right. I can just send you hit an energy. Right. You can send me hit right. an energy. Right. You know, that's honestly, you know, Equally as uh, get equal value as when I touch you. Yeah. If you if you do it mentally or physically, it's now, still the same value. Now, because when you down in the physical, when you touch, again you're enhancing it. The only way you balance it out is from creating the thought. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That you're doing. But it still will never will take away the opportunity of the here right. and the now. Right now. Of what, what we, we have. doing. Because we're together and we're in agreement. So we're creating all that we, that we desire. And that we desire. It's right happening now. quicker. This may be our only opportunity to actually create our own world right now. We can do it. And then it's everything that happens after the day is just going to be what it's we are creating work. right here today. See, that's why you would come here and say, yeah, I'm going, whatever. And then we would actually do the, the creation so that we can get everything, so that everything would be in place. Like you say, everybody's going to come. You're going to get your building. You're going to get everything that's going to work. See what I mean? But because it's, through your vision, right? giving attention to it, mm-hmm. it causes it to crystallize. It's the same way that when you get pregnant, when you get with the man and y'all do it, you make the baby right there. But you don't see it. See what I mean? It, you don't even know that it happened, but it actually has happened. You just can, you know. So that's how you have to feel. Like it's, I'm, you know, like we've done it. it and so, right. yeah, if you feel good about it, then just act on ideas and opportunities that come your way. They're gonna come, just like we came, more and more. Just because you went to San Francisco, that's how we came. And then just how we came, that's how everything else is going to come. And I've had that happen to me all week this week. Yes. 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 So we have to remember yes. that. Yes. I have. And get all week. Everything. All week. Everything happens. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so this is like, yeah, so it was, yeah, it's all in the right order. That's the That's awesome. Yeah. Because no way I could have known that all this was going to happen when I planned for us to come here and just be right. here this one night. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's all it's perfectly mapped out. You know, it's all yeah. laid out. And see that excitement is attractive. Yeah, and it's for us to build off of. It's for us to utilize you right you now. You utilize the energy you move on and we create in our world and we're sharing. You know, that's very important. You're able to share and release. That's the only reason why you would have a one night stand. Literally. For any for any other reason, because but if I met somebody, because I got to, we got to create whatever we're gonna create right now. There's no guarantee that we would see you again. Whatever you know, I mean, if we didn't do it right now, like you know, when we, you know what I mean? That's it. We got this time to, to build care. it back up. You know, right. what I mean? it's it's just unclear to you. Right. Now it's as happen. unclear as it is, but the more and more you clarify, it's like what happens is 
And if, if you remember, it's good. But you can ask yourself, do you remember when you when visualize this? This happened. So this is how powerful how long that this stuff is. But everything else that had been happening actually was leading up to this day right here. Right. The very but you didn't know that you didn't know that all that negative the friends and all that you had to go through just so you can meet us. You didn't know that. Because no, <laughs> you know, you love people most times when I meet nurses, I, the first thing I tell them I say, feel my heart. It's actually <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> I'm like I always so get that real. same reaction. Yes, I'm so for real, but I can, I can just heal. I can feel the healing energy, energy. right? Because we realize, I'm like, I just spoke it into existence. Right. I said, yes, my heart is extraordinary. Yeah. Which is the reason I would do that is because, like I said, we're in the hospital. We're here. All this is people going need on. healing yeah. going on. Right. So when you use that energy, it's just that's the creation it's dynamic, <laughs> and that's how you get into you know pain. Because we really start achieving your goals. You know, we state what we want to do, mm-hmm. and then we do it. And so because we don't, um, she I, was, cause she, I just remind me what she asked me about the question about how we would get the money. And so we, that's how we get it. We just stay in creation, and it just comes from everywhere. People yes, send it the to universe. Us, they send it to us. It. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. really matter, you know the what I mean? But it's going it. to come. That's what you got to know. It don't matter how it's going to get to you. You just got to know it's going to come. Right. <laughs> and that's why I ask you to just remember or to reflect or to go back to when you created this. Right. See, once it more and more registered when you what you're doing. Ask for it. And I was able to do it so well because I had wrote out that wish list. That's I could never like deny I that this is what I asked the for. Other day. It's okay. in my journal. Yes. Yes. I, have to say, I couldn't deny that no matter what happened I couldn't deny that I had wrote out that list and asked for that and that he showed up the same day I couldn't deny that how many days ago then we go over a 10 month plan right. Right. see we have a, a connection because it's about taking your life or your business you know, to the next so, level just change so you're becoming more healthier, right. wealthier, and successful. So why is it a 10-month plan? Because he always likes to do things in record time. So a 12-month plan, we're going to get done in 10 months. Yeah. So we get two, two months, months off. For vacation. And have fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's why it's still on Superstar. You guys go to a different yeah. city every month and break it out. You know, all this. <laughs> yes. You know, but you know, in your ideal world, you know, you got two months off. You know, just eight weeks. I mean, it's just so much you can do with that time. To me, it's it's, uh, it's priceless. Unlimited. You know, that's when they it comes in the reality to say the time is worth more than money. Definitely, time is actually worth. Because you got these two months. You know, to, you know, for yourself. You know, work just for think children, today how much you know. time we have together today. Oh, man, it's know. amazing. You know yeah. what we're achieving. You know, when you able to believe it, when you able to feel it. You know, and you're. You know, you're a brave warrior. You know, you're having literally. Angry. You already broke you know, able to. all the barriers yes. just by coming here. Like you said, people would, you know, be like, "You crazy? You I went to their yes, room." Even my <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Even even we're breaking the record. Uh, I didn't ask. I was going to ask you because uh, your uh, your parents' ancestors now. Um, where were they born? At? Were they born here or where were they from? Yeah, they weren't. Um, my dad was born in West Virginia. My mom was. Little small mining community. They were both in the mining communities. So here in Virginia. Uh, my mom was born in Virginia, my dad was born in West Virginia. Virginia, yeah, and West Virginia. Yeah. What about their parents? Right. Did anyone come from any other countries? Um, no, not that I'm aware of. Right. Offered right here. So everyone that you're aware of was born here. I think so. What would you What would you consider to be your nationality? So that stuff that that um, stuff that's self we tap into. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's more knowledge. More stuff. knowledge. Stuff. My nephew was actually researching that at one point, oh. and he started like researching it. Like he was still trying to look through every like, tree to like figure right. out where we came from. See where right. Right. you gotta do that. And it is possible it's, that you're important. Come from here. But, but you want to know for certain, right? You yes. gotta do it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because because government placed their trust in names and issues 
And so you're not considered a person unless you know your nationality. Right. That's how they were able to distinguish the slaves versus the people that had status. They just ask you some questions. People that don't have status, that don't know, I know I trained them, they say, well, we won't put this out. They are over here. And it's just status. And so when you if you if you ask from if you're from Italy and you say my nationality is Italian, we know you are if you're from you know, everybody has to be able to state that. That's part they they state their trust in names and issues. It's nothing nothing personal or anything. That's just how they set up this society so that they would be able to always know what we're doing so to speak because there's a lot of things that happen and over the t over the time period so that we don't have to think that it's, it was racial or that it was you know something other than just it's just people that have it and the haves not people that have the information and the people that don't have it thank heavens your ancestors have left you some things so right. <coughs> once you know the yes. names you can get the benefits right it's real easy. It's like an inheritance. It be a great reason for anybody to find out what you know, my heritage is. Because right. I've got some enrichment going on. I've got some benefits that I didn't know about. So we help the people on that journey. You know, and you your know, first name, Bessie. Bessie. Yes. So I had to look up this and see if this is right, too. Oh, yeah. This is B. This B. This it says, this according one. to studies, your sexual identity is revealed by the first letter of your first name. What do you think? According to studies. You give off vibes of lazy sensuality. You enjoy being romance. Good day, I am lazy. Wind and dine. No, that's me. I mean, that's just the first sentence. They just let you know you give off vibes of lazy sensuality. What the heck is that supposed to be? You enjoy, and it, usually the next sentence will describe what they're talking about and they say <coughs> they always say that when they tell me what it is right after that. So you enjoy being romanced, wine and dined. Period. That's your lazy sensuality. <laughs> That's what they mean with lazy sensuality. You are very happy to receive gifts as a statement of the affection of your lover. Pour it on me. Give it to me. <laughs> you want to be pampered, and you know how to pamper your mate. Oh, wow. Yes. Do that for me. I know how to pamper you. I do it. Why don't you give so, it to me? Can I get some pamper? Hey. <laughs> See, I'm just doing this over and over and over and over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Want it too? Just have to say that because they don't ever get it. <laughs> you are private in your statement of endearments, and particularly when it comes to love making. Private. That's me. In your statement of endearment. <laughs> Serious stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> serious stuff. <laughs> serious the statements of endearment, in particular when it comes to love making. You will hold off until everything meets with your approval. <laughs> you can control your appetite and abstain from sex if need. <laughs> Jesus. What is that? Never. What is that? <laughs> yeah. 